Hello, welcome to Tech Chermit. In this session, we will discuss a way through which we can delete or remove the existing sequence from the system. Okay, so for that, firstly, I will create one sequence. So I will go and run the command strsql, and here I will use this command and this query to create the sequence because as of now I have I don't have any sequence in my system so I will create it with the name of seq1 and this thing we have already discussed like what all statement we are running here like start with one increment by one max value 100 no cycle so these thing we have already covered right uh, in this session mainly we are discussing like how we can remove the sequence so if I hit enter you can see the sequence is created now okay now to verify the same you can do one more thing just go and write work obj then uh, put sharmit one slash seq1 so if you hit enter it will show that yes object is there with type star dta ara now suppose the requirement is a bit changed and now we are supposed to delete the sequence so how to do this so for that i have created one program and it's a very simple program we are just running one query inside it so let's let me walk you through this code so what we are doing here, we are declaring one constant. So you can see SQL state underscore valid, which means uh, we, here we are storing the five times zero and this thing we will use to verify whether the query is executed successfully or not. And below to this, we are setting the commitment control as commit equals star none. And then we are running one main query, which is for sequence drop, not for retrieve, okay? So what we are doing here, we are uh, executing one query which is drop sequence and then we are also specifying the library sharmit1 slash seq1 right so what it means it will remove it will drop the sequence from sharmit1 uh, it will drop the sequence seq1 from library sharmit1 okay so it will check there and if it is present it will delete otherwise it will give error that it is not found okay so you can see if SQL after execution of this query, we are checking if the SQL state equals to SQL state underscore valid, then we are printing message sequence dropped. Else we are printing the message SQL state along with an error, query ended with an error and end if and LR equals to star on. Okay. So let me quickly save and exit this. I'm compiling it and calling this. So you can see we got the message sequence dropped which means now the sequence is not available okay so same thing you can also verify with work obj here you can try to find out this object and you can see cannot find object to match a specified name because we have dropped this right same thing uh, we can also verify from the strsql here you can try to uh, fetch the data so i will reuse one of my used query for fetching the data yeah this is the one so what we are doing we are trying to fetch the next value for sharmit one dot seq1 as next value from sys ibm dot system u1 so if i hit enter you can see it is giving error because seq1 in sharmit1 type star dta ara not found okay so now we are confirmed that uh, it is deleted so it's a simple way you can just use drop command and you can use there also here also like you can simply write drop then you need to mention which thing you want to drop i want to drop sequence then you can specify library uh, i would recommend to keep always library here because if you are working with multiple sequences and there are multiple libraries so just make sure uh, before dropping it that you are uh, deleting only that thing which you really want to delete right because these are some uh, crucial commands and if you delete it without checking it properly then you may lose the data so that's why we are spe specifying here only delete it from shermit1 and the name of the sequences as you can so simply go and hit enter it will take time and you can see it is deleted okay so yeah these are the some ways through which we can delete or remove the existing sequence from the system and the syntax uh, for using it inside a sql rpg is quite simple you just simply need to write exec sql then drop sequence share with one slash seq1 so yeah that's all for this session i hope it is clear to all of you in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech share with